You know what I like about you? No, what? It's like you're not afraid to be like brainy and respectful. Right. Thanks. I really like your boobs. <laughs> I think we really complement each other well. You just did it right there. And uh, I pretty much go with the flow. Right, right. And what the f is wrong with you? Excuse me? Do I look like Mad Max to you? No. Then why the f is water a rare commodity here? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, girl. I'm home. Hey, boo. How you doing? Good. How was work? Sucked. Aw. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, sure. What up? I've just been noticing that every time I leave to go out, the next time I open the computer, the browser history's been cleared. Hmm. That's weird. Yesterday, I went food shopping for like 15 minutes. I used the computer before I went to the store. And when I came back, my history was gone, the cash was cleared, and the cookies had been reset. Hmm. Well, I think sometimes the computer runs an automatic software update, so maybe that just kind of clears the history. Yeah, except when you update the software, a little window pops up, and you click OK, and then it gets installed, so. Hmm. I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with the computer, you know? And it's just one of those things, whenever it gets interrupted from the power source, it has to reboot, and it just totally wipes out the history. Be honest, babe. It's porn, right? Porn? What's... Oh, pornography? No. It's okay if you look at porn. I assumed you did anyways. I mean, every guy does. I'm perfectly okay with that, as long as it's not that weird stuff. Oh. All right, well, I mean, kinky's okay. I like kinky. <laughs> as long as it's not that sick, twisted S&M stuff. Wow. Um, okay, I'm not gonna judge your journey. It is your fantasy. Just as long as you're not looking at women who... Not women? Wow! Okay! Men? Chicks with dicks? Horses? Worse than horses? Wow. Baby, give me a little credit. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is that when we're doing it, I'm thinking about you, and you're thinking about me, right? Right, baby? Hey, baby. Huh? Wake up. Huh? What time is it? What are you doing? Good morning. Hey! <laughs> Come on, girl. It's time to get up. Let's go. Delete the picture, mother <laughs> OK, um, uh, delete. You're deleting it. Um, delete, delete photo. OK. It's gone. It's all, it's all gone. Thanks, baby. Mm. How do you want your eggs? Scrambled? <laughs> What's all this? This is your lucky night. I want to be your fantasy. Whatever you want me to do. Whatever you want to do to me. You just tell me your naughtiest fantasies, Bill, and you'll get it. Seriously? Seriously. Like, for realsies? For realsies. Well, how about we call up your friend Erica? Excuse me, I think we're ready to order. Well, um, I'm sorry. That's not how things work in this establishment. Someone will come to you. Yes, we're, we're sorry. No, no problem. What was that? What? Well, where was Black Jeff? Black Jeff? What? Yeah, Black Jeff. I read somewhere that when you date a biracial guy, you're supposed to get the best of both worlds. So there are white Jeff situations, and there are Black Jeff situations, and that was definitely a Black Jeff situation. Oh. 
Okay. okay. Hi, folks. I'm so sorry for the wait. Can I get you bottled or tap water for the table this evening? How about I bottle your ass and kick it down the stairs, man? We've been waiting half an hour for one of you mother to show up. God, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'll get you a bottle of our finest premium water on the house. That's what I said, bitch. What are you doing? Black, Black Jeff. That was Black Jeff. But he was just trying to help us. Oh, so White, White Jeff? Yes. Mm. Good evening. I'm sorry to bother you two. I am the maitre d' here at Chez Henri. Oh, yes. Uh, what is it? <laughs> uh, I am so sorry to disturb you both, but our establishment has a certain dress code, and Madame's, um, Decolletage is inappropriate. Oh my God, we're, we're we're very sorry. We we didn't know there was a dress code. We'll certainly remember for the next time. But there ain't gonna be no next time for you looking at my woman and her her ch deco chocol chocolage or whatever you said, man. Is there a problem here? Okay, see, it was really a simple misunderstanding. It all started with that mother right there who was disrespecting myself and my girl. But we really love this guy, and he gave us exceptional service. We're gonna have to ask you to leave. You have to ask me to leave. Oh, you have to ask the black man to leave, huh? Actually. You don't have to ask us to leave. We just want to see ourselves out, and we ain't never coming back again, though we really appreciate your help. That's it. Oh, lo siento mucho. Watch your ass, man! Let us reimburse you for that breakage, okay? Right after I'll burn this whole place to the mother ground with everybody inside of it. By which I mean you're gonna get a very negative review on Yelp. This place is so nice. <laughs> this is supposed to be one of the best uh, French places in town. Mm, I did not realize that you were so cultured. <laughs> You're sweet. Uh, my French is pretty good, so uh, I can order for both of us. Oh, if you want. well, well, well. Bonjour. Welcome to Chez de la Montembrandre. I am your waiter for this evening. My name is Jean-Luc de la Pierre-Renaud, but you may call me Jean. Bonjour, Jean. Too. If you have any questions about anything at all, I'm more than happy to uh, assist you. Mm -hmm. to assist. Jean, I got it. Merci beaucoup. Oh. Oh, très bien. Well, our first special tonight is our poisson du jour. It is a loup de mer bleu en verson, served with a plumeur verte de cochon de plomont. Uh, that is served on a bed of gendarme de filis au pain, and also served with luminette rouge and soufflé petit de fierte du pont de grenier. Oh, mm. yum. Our soup today is a bourlain moussant with just a dash of chantembertre and served with melted pisson ton champartre fleur. Soup. Yeah. Our other seafood today, we have a very nice flintempant grand de ponce vase from the Goutran Mousson Valley in Vézantin. It is served with the side of Colombon Fontaine de la Matin du Gord Fourmier Coulon sauce. <laughs> Oh, man, it's just, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> um, yes. Oh, God, I'm so glad you said that. I was about to say the same okay, thing. So you would recommend getting the flanton pan grand dans petit plan pisse vert with the, um, oh, I'm sorry, is the pilorité de pisse roulant and a heavy fonds en temps sauce? Oh, no, 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 it's more like a cochon de grand de grand de vange sauce. <laughs> what do you think? I'm, I'm going to defer to him on this one because he knows this stuff way better than I do. Monsieur? What was um, yeah, we're, we'll, uh, we'll have the sonde, uh, I'm at the, I'm sonde, we'll try the fleur, the fleur, It's been nice knowing you have a lovely dinner. Oh, well, thank you. I wish I could just stay at my old place, but I can't afford the new rent. Yeah, moving sucks. You, you know, strangers handling your belongings, the movers always break something. Oh, no, I can't afford professional movers. I'm moving myself this Saturday. Good to know that the small students going back and forth with my hatchback. But do you think you can borrow your roommate's band? You can help me with some of the big stuff? Um, yeah, you know what? I've been thinking a lot lately, and I think we need to spend some time apart. Not, not to break up, no, I just, I just, just some time.
time apart to figure ourselves out. And, 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 then, and then we come back together stronger, you know? But this is coming out of nowhere. No, it's not. I've, I have, I've tried to tell you like a, like a million different ways, but you, you don't listen. See, th you, you, that's the thing is that you, you never listen. I don't need this time apart for me. I need this time apart for us. How long do you think it's gonna take you to move? Okay, this is about the move. You don't want to help me move. What? what? I, would, I would love to help you move. That's what boyfriends do. Claire. I just think that it's a weird coincidence that you need space right when I'm about to move. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am so sorry that I didn't plan my emotional turmoil around your move. Look at, look at your face, see? And now you've assumed the worst of me because you do that. And that's why we need to spend time apart from each other. That is not fair. Not fa fair? Babe, all I'm asking for is 12 lousy hours this Saturday. Okay, fine. Okay, fi fine? <sighs> we'll move on Sunday. 48 hours. I don't know what I was thinking. 12 hours is nowhere near enough time to do what I need to do to make our relationship stronger. See, you got me all confused. And you know what? I love you, but I gotta get out of here. I can't, I just can't, I don't, I'm so confused right now. I feel, I, I can't think. And the walls are closing in on me and I just don't know what to do. I, I was my landlord. He says he doesn't want to lose me as a tenant, so he is not going to raise my rent. Now I don't have to leave my place. And I don't need time apart because we're perfect together. Will you marry me? You paint my apartment. Yeah, of course I'm painting your apartment. That's what boyfriends do. When exactly do you think that's gonna happen? <laughs> God, the moment I saw you last night at the club, totally had to ask you out. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like the moment? Oh, like, yeah. That's so sweet. <laughs> I was actually afraid that you were gonna be like one of those high maintenance chicks, you know? What? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't control freak or so. I don't even know. I don't oh, even know. Oh my God, that's so funny. Isn't that, <laughs> is, it, is it funny? Is it funny? Nah, I'm like, I totally just like to be just like easy going. Yeah, yeah, I am winning. I'll it's be been your five waiter. minutes and we're just now getting our menus. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't be sorry. Be better. Right. Okay, I'll, I'll be better. That's your job. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, my philosophy is pretty much like keep it chill. Right, yeah, yeah. You know what I like about you? No, what? It's like you're not afraid to be like brainy and respectful. Right. Thanks. I really like your boobs. <laughs> I think we really complement each other well. You just did it right there. And uh, I pretty much go with the flow. Right, right. And what the f is wrong with you? Excuse me? Do I look like Mad Max to you? I I'm sorry? Do I look like Mel Gibson with a mullet? I no, not, not at all. Does he look like a feral child with a boomerang in his hand? No. Then why the f is water a rare commodity here? It's not, it's not, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm just really slammed. No, uh, you'll know when you're slammed because your nuts will be on the table and my fists will be covered in your blood. Um, you were, uh, like, kind of harsh to that guy. Oh, him? Yeah. No, I was a hostess at a restaurant in the industry. That's how we talk to each other. I'll show you. Hey! God, uh, hey. What do you see there? That's your water. No, 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 no. Down. Down. Down, boy. No. Then you need. Okay, I have other tables that I have. What does that look like to you? Yes, there's a little <gasps> lipstick on your glass. Okay. There's, but it, Megan, it's your. This it's is your... what I want you to do. I want you to take this glass in the back. I want you to break it. Take the biggest shard you can find and bring it to me. I'm... Then I'm gonna slit your gullet. All right, I'm just, I'll get you another one. I'm gonna slit your throat and watch you bleed out. And I'm gonna shower in your blood. All right, I'll, I'll get another water. Well, that would be great, thank you. 
But as I was saying, like, I just feel like it's like, do unto others. Megan! It was your lipstick on the glass. What the hell is that? What are you doing? Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Oh my God. I just tell you, no one's ever talked to me like that in my I'm life. Just that you, to what... you have his back. Who does that? It was your lipstick on the glass. He's just a waiter. You know what? Take his side. I hope you have a very happy life together. No, make it. What's going on right now? What are you doing? Seriously, Megan. No! No! Megan! You left the jacket! Hey! You left the hey. jacket! Hey! Don't do it. I, mean, I just hurt her feelings and then she left her jacket. The least I could do is Don't get do her it. back her jacket. Don't do it. She needs to She does not need it. It's 87 degrees out. You know she doesn't need it in your heart of hearts. You know she doesn't need that jacket. Don't do it. She's gonna need her jacket. No, she's not gonna need Megan, you need your jacket though! Seemed like a nice guy. Are you kidding me? No! Seriously, you gotta come back to the bar right you now. You come back in the Megan, bar. I don't even know Claire. Yeah, I'm right. sorry. You left her jacket. Yeah, well, why didn't you give it to your new fat, ugly girlfriend? All right, I didn't even met her yet. Whatever! You left your jacket, Megan! Oh. Throw it in a river! Why would I f do that? I don't care, I'm over it! Fine! God. Megan! Leave me alone! Get your jacket though! No. Seriously, Megan! You start buying drinks for everybody as soon as she comes over? I mean, who does that? Megan, come back to the bar! You're literally a how is that possible? I can't be an asshole. I got arms and legs and a head. Where's my jacket? I have your jacket. Fine. Do you want it? No. You know what? Eat it. Why would I do that? You know what? I'm not following you anymore. Fine, I'm done. I'm over it. Fine. Megan, come back to the bar. No. Megan. Uh -uh. Megan. No. Megan. Uh -uh. Megan, do you want your jacket? No. Seriously, come back to the bar. You go back to the bar. I'm gonna throw this jacket in the water. Oh, nice. That's really nice. What do you want me to do, Megan? Damn. Kiss my butthole, okay? Good, like fine, fine. Then I'm going, I'm leaving right now. God damn it. Megan! No. Like, seriously, your jacket! No! But it's your jacket, though! Whatever! Megan! No! I have your... I have your jacket! Seriously, me. So what do you want to do tonight? Like, I was thinking maybe we could meet up with Amy and Brad, and like, before that, we could go to Angelo's, and before that, we could like, just go buy some- Megan! I have something to say. I had to say it in person because it's it's like super important. Okay. Um, I know this is sudden, but like I've been thinking about this for a while, and I know this is something that needs to happen. I'm breaking up with you. Cool, and love it. Totally fine with that. Really? Yeah. Because I thought I was 
I was really worried that you were gonna be like mad. Mad? Oh my God, are you kidding me? No, of course I'm not mad. People grow apart, it happens. It's like part of life. No, I'm totally fine. Like, love it, love it, love it. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, um, you know, we, we had a good run. Yeah. Hey, uh, don't be a stranger. Yeah. Can I just, can I ask why? Why? Yeah, like, what I was like, I'm doing some work on myself and like trying to grow as a person. So cool, cool. I really like appreciate to know why. Yeah, um, okay, yeah, that's like, you know, I think that you're kind of like a, a controlling person. Thank you. Kind of Thank you for that. That's nice. Thank you for that. Cool, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what your problem is, Andre? What? You keep tabs on people. Every little thing somebody does, you have to keep a tab of it. Wait, I, I, I can't tell if you're angry or not. I'm not. I'm totally not angry. Oh. No, I'm excited. It's good. It's just like, you said your piece, <clears throat> and I just think that I deserve the human decency to say my piece. R right, right. Is that, is that not okay? Or? No, no, no. It's, no, of course, of course. You're a controlling, manipulative person. Everyone says it. I, 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 don't, I don't think that I am. Yes, you are, Andre. Yes, you mother are. Okay, now, now you, like, you sound pretty angry. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I'm fine. I love it. I love that you came to my house and you broke up with me in my space, and I'm going to think about that every time I'm here. That's great. That is so perfect for me. It's the best thing that's around me. Well, where else was I supposed to do it? Because you won't come to my house. Oh, when, here he is. I wanted to the be, puppet master is back. But I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not the puppet Why master. Why are you doing this to me? It's true, you won't come to my house. You said my apartment looks like two rats just in it every day. Oh, right, like, thank you for that. I'm a bitch, thank you. I didn't thank you. No, I didn't say bitch, I didn't always oh, say bitch. Like, am I you, evil or am I a bitch? No, no, you're not evil, vegan. Well, you're not. Why are you punishing me? I'm not, I'm not punishing you. Oh, I'm not. You broke up with me and I'm not supposed to feel punished. Who thinks like that? <laughs> I can't, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay, Megan? I, I guess I didn't think it through. Well, it's like too late now. I mean, we're done. No, it's not too late. Megan, Megan, seriously, I just, I, 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 was, I had a feeling that I thought was true, and clearly, clearly it wasn't true. I, I'm so confused. Like, like, are you breaking up with me, or are you not breaking up with me? Megan, I'm not breaking up with you. Okay, cool. So what do you want to do tonight? Like, I want to hang out with Amy and Brad, but maybe before that we can go to Angela's and Happened. <laughs>